we got the button pusher here and um, uh and we're gonna uh, I, so so you you you're doing a lot of stuff over there <laughs> uh <laughs> tell us a little bit about about grind city and what, what you're putting together over there so um grind city is the oh wow <laughs> Grand City is like the morph of my first company, JPB. So JPB was this huge dream I had that we needed this independent media for independent artists, right? Uh, because we, I felt that um, especially local artists uh, in any city weren't getting any coverage. Uh, you go to the shows, you didn't hear anything else after the show. You barely heard something before the show. There was no news person, nobody mm-hmm. with a mic and a mic flag out there. So I began that journey. Uh, many years ago, uh, and I really just ran it out of my basement and did things on PCTV for like 17 and a half years. Uh, which is uh, so which is our local cable access, for those not familiar with it. Yeah, local cable access, public access channel. Um, and uh, Grind City is the brick and mortar of that. So uh, here I have my own music production studio, my own photography studio in my own TV studio um, so that I can create, help others create every part of what's needed to put together a television production Mm -hmm. and then stream it to our own Roku channel. Mm -hmm. Uh, So that's kind of what I have going on over here. That's awesome. So it's a, you, you moved from that. So, and I've been seeing you, you're, you've been sorting things out uh, uh, over the last several years. How did you land on Roku? And what is that process? Like I, I've been poking at Roku for years for, for some of the productions that I do around here, especially the pro wrestling stuff. Like, like how was that kind of on board to kind of create a, a, a Roku station like that? Well, I had been doing some, a little bit of research of where I, what I can do next, right? Because the public access channels are saturated mm-hmm. in this city and other cities. And when I uh, when I was first part of PCTV, uh, I was able to kind of syndicate my shows to different cities and uh, things that I and, and we really blew up. Uh, but what occurred uh, as time went on, it's very hard to keep trying to push your show to these different cities with all these different times and they have different rules and they want you to do this. And so I was like, where else could we go? I had JPB TV, the network, which was internet TV. Uh, and it was still like, there has to be, I have to do something bigger mm-hmm. uh, to expand my reach uh, and start poking around what company does what. Uh, as far as getting you set up with Roku, I tried to build my own Roku channel. I'm not that geeky. <laughs> Guess I don't have those glasses yet. So, um, we'll get them. Yeah, I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them. But I found a company that um, helps you build the platform, mm-hmm. and not only allows you to build that platform for Roku, but when you're ready and you have the finances, you can take that same channel and put it on uh, uh, Amazon, put it on Apple TV, put it on Samsung, all of the places now where people are watching television. Mm -hmm. So I decided to go with this company. It's called TV Startup. At first, they drove me crazy because uh, when you're in used to controlling your own stuff and people don't get back to you in a timely fashion, you're like, what are you doing with my money? What are you doing? I know I can do it if you just show me how to do it, right? <laughs> yeah, just I'll give me the it. instructions and we go, right? So, That's all I need. I'm very familiar. And I'll figure it out. Uh, but what I found was uh, it's very cool to be able to, uh, one thing that I always wanted to be able to do was schedule. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was unable to do that um, with uh, mobily. Uh, when I had JPB TV, the network, I was able to do it if you watched on a computer, but not on a mobile device. So I was very excited to be able to combine um, this one channel to my website, to my mobile app, and to Roku. And soon it'll be on these other places. Um, and it'll be one place that I program, one place that I schedule, one place that I upload. And boom, and it goes out. But uh, Roku is one of the highest, as far as 
uh, people being involved with streaming TV. Roku is actually the leader. A lot of people think it's Amazon. It's really not. It is Roku. Um, and they are good uh, as far as building more bridges internationally. Mm -hmm. They're starting to expand their base. Um, and then the other aspect is TVs are coming with Roku now. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, it's built inside the TV. So when I began to look at where I was going to put my channel first, a lot of people were like, why do you put it on fire, fire stick? Because that's an extra device that someone has to buy. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes they may not be in a position to do that. Uh, but these TVs now, as soon as you buy, they're coming with Roku. So we're already in your TV. All you have to do is type our name in and add us. I wanted to do a channel that was free. I wanted to do a channel that uh, was free for the producers. Um and you know, just find other ways to generate revenue. I think we work very hard on creating our content, right? So why charge somebody for something that they're already spending their time and their money? And it's this stuff costs money to do. So yeah. I wanted to put the best indie content from all over the place. And I'm still building this. We're up to about 16, 17 producers now um, from different states. I got two from Pittsburgh two from PA and two more that are producing shows at my production house. Other than that, we're talking Houston, Jersey. Uh, we're talking uh, Georgia. We're talking, whew, goodness, Maryland. Well, I mean, just all over the place where these people are submitting uh, content. And now we're getting to the point where people are submitting us exclusive content where it'll drop on our channel first play there and then they'll put it on their website soon i'll be offering a way for them to stream live to that will be something that uh i have to pay for naturally but uh if you want it to go live to the channel when i stream i stream live to the channel so i just wanted to offer people like myself who may not have all of the things that we have to create like so you have a whole studio i have a whole studio everybody doesn't have that right yeah, yeah. so but they are creating and are creating good stuff so i wanted to find a way to continue to work with independent media uh but say hey i don't have to do it all these guys are these people are out here doing great stuff let's find a nuclear nucleus let's build an umbrella because mm -hmm. the more people that says grind city too far there's going is it's easier than me just saying it i'm a little short fat person it, it doesn't go very far my my lungs only put so much out so now we have all these people with the logo in their show and pushing it on their social media so it's starting to expand and we're the root to that tree uh, so i'm very excited about it very very excited about it absolutely i, I think it's really important you know you and i both kind of got up to this because we spent so many years in our own basement figuring this out <laughs> so to, and the more that you're able to um help people kind of get you know get going kind of uh uh with a little more behind them so they can get straight to making the content uh instead of spending 10 years in your basement <laughs> like, uh, like i like i did uh you know like that that means more good stuff is going to come out Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's that's what I want them to do. I'll continue to focus on your content. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had shows that when they first came to the network, they were, eh. yeah, I yeah. still gave them a chance. And you look at these shows now and, and, and our channel hasn't even turned a year yet. It turns a year in March. So we're up to twenty eight hundred subscribers on Roku right now. And um, our goal was ten thousand within the first three three and a half years uh, because then we can really broadcast and promote on Roku itself. Yeah. So our goal is to get those 10,000 subscribers, but to see them take it seriously and, and put pride in, and you see their shows improving and commercials and people are paying to advertise on their show, generate finance, mm -hmm. generate it in your show. Why not? I'm not taxing you. You know what I'm saying? Get it in there because the more people who are promoting on your show, the more people who are watching your show, the more people are saying Grand City TV Network. And we can get that name synonymous with independent content creation and exposure then we are building something major here, and I'm just thrilled to be the little short, fat person just going, hey, I did that, yay! And I'm getting glasses this month. I ain't uh, getting them. 
<laughs> oh, love it. I've been watching, you know, I, I, I you know, I, I feel I feel like we don't get to as content creators, we don't get to um consume each other's content too often, but I I've always had the uh, you know, okay, you know, in my feed like, okay, what's up? Oh, there's some new stuff coming. Okay, there's some news. I get the emails. Uh <laughs> everything going on over there. Uh and of course, we contribute our thing through indywrestling.us. We we've yes, been showcasing a lot of local I want the network. <laughs> get your popcorn. And come watch indie wrestling, man. Yeah. Wednesday night, 11 p.m. Quit playing and come on Wednesday night. It's the new show. Friday night's a repeat and Monday's a repeat because we love <laughs> indie wrestling. We're not playing over there. I might, yes. I might slip some of the wildest stuff I can think of in there. Uh, so <laughs> wait till you get to these Beast Man matches I've been working on today. Uh, <laughs> But uh, no, it, I, I think it's a it's a great thing, and, and seeing that you, you know I, I've been seeing the pictures of the studio and everything like that, and uh, and 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 I'm just and I had that thought. I was like, she's making her own, she's making her own cable access, she's making her own thing over here. Like, but 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 more than you know. Amazing. Uh, today, Monica and Monica was like the premier production person at uh, P- PCTV. Uh, for many, many years when I was there, I learned so much from, today she came to Grind City. She mm-hmm. had never been here before. Today she came, and she's not even in TV anymore. And she came to Grind City and her, the tears in her eyes, the tears in her eyes, the pride for her to say, you know, so so many people have come through PCTV and they love, they play, they don't take it for serious, right? And she said, you did it. You actually went and did it. And I kind of was like, yeah, yeah, I kind of did do it. Yeah, because you do, you, when you're doing stuff, sometimes you don't sit back and go, hey, good job. You're con- yeah. We're constantly building. We're constantly going. And I know I'm my, my heel was steep. I'm trying to compete with ABC's on Roku. Yeah. You know, yeah. HBO's on Roku. So these are huge, huge, huge networks with money. And I'm this little fish. So for someone to come in and say, you know what, I see you, I was kind of like, yeah, 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 I did. But I learned so much from public access television and the passion it takes to build something like this is that, like, yo, 17 years in my basement, I kind of deserve this. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> came to your studio i was like yo this is amazing you gotta <laughs> we, come over here man we we try i wish i could have people over here still so uh right. but uh yeah we're we're just waiting just waiting keeping the couch warm for everybody for when we're allowed to do that but no i'd love to visit i actually do want to want to check out what you're doing over there so you did visit we did uh we did a show for a little bit called uh, rap gamers i think what uh was, yeah, that was the show right cool bro i'm not a gamer this guy <laughs> the interview guy Hits, he puts me on this game. I don't know what I'm doing. I told you I'm a semi-nerd geek kind of sort of on the stuff that I know how to do, right? So he's kicking my anal, man. He's kicking. He's beating me down in this game. And they're like, well, what you do for a living? Really, bro? I'm trying to figure out how the joystick work. Do you want to interview me like right now, bro? It was horrible. It was horrible. It was fun. Had a great time. Had a, had it was a fun to watch. Time. It was great. Um, but no, some great stuff. Again, where can people uh, check out uh, Grind City and, and what's going on over there? Oh, real easy. If you do have a Roku TV or device, just simply type in Grind City TV Network uh, and you'll see us. will pop right up. Uh, we have the on-demand list. There are quite a few on-demand lists uh, of NT content creation that is there. We also have our affiliates that are there, uh, but we do have programming. So if you click the white box, it'll take you to what is playing in rotation. And it's not a standstill channel. It is constantly playing 24 hours, seven days a week. I'm constantly programming this. If you don't by chance have a Roku TV or device, you can simply go to grindcity.biz. The exact same thing that's playing on the channel is playing on the website. And you can also download our our mobile app on Google Play, Grind City TV. Yep. Uh, And if you have an iPhone, I don't want to hear it, you iPhone people. Just go to your browser, right? (laughs) Apple wants money. I'm getting there. Go to your browser and type in grindcity.biz and check us out. There you go. There you go. It all works across the board. Go check it out. Some good content. 